Our heart is an important component of cardiovascular system. It creates pressure every time it beats. This pressure moves the blood to every cell in our body. Now let us see what is cardiac cycle. The sequence of events in a single heartbeat is known as cardiac cycle. This cycle involves the systole or contraction and diastole or relaxation of atria and ventricles. Look at this figure. In this, you can make out that all the four chambers of heart are in relaxed stage, that is, joint diastole stage. Now you will observe here that bicuspid and the tricuspid walls are open. So what will happen? The blood will flow from the pulmonary vein and vena cava to left and right atrium respectively. Right? Now, the arterial systole is initiated when SA node sends out an electric signal. During arterial systole, the atria undergoes a continuous contraction which forcefully passes the blood into the ventricles through tricuspid and the bicuspid walls. Ventricular systole begins when ventricles are filled with blood. The AV node, as shown here, picks up the signal and then conducts it throughout the ventricles. This stimulates the ventricular contraction and as the ventricular contraction increases, the ventricular pressure causes the closure of AV walls. Now this continuous contraction causes the further increase in ventricular pressure. What will happen because of this? It will open the semilunar walls and the blood flows into the pulmonary artery and the aorta. Now this closing of AV walls here results in producing the first heart sound lump. Now observe here that ventricles are in relaxed state now. During ventricular diastole, the ventricles relax, arterial pressure falls and blood begins to flow back into the ventricles. This reversal of pressure causes the semilunar walls to shut, producing the second heart sound dub. So now you know what produces the sound dub dub. Meanwhile, the atria have been filling with the blood and as the ventricles relax, blood flows from the atria into the ventricles, forcing the AV walls to open again.